Well, here you are in a very warm March Saturday afternoon, March 7th, and it's about uh, 73 degrees outside. I'm not complaining, by the way. I'm on the newly uh, restored section of the Montour Trail, formerly the Montour Railroad, uh, the West Peter section. And uh, one of the most, uh, I think, significant developments is the establishment of the Montour Railroad Historical Society, which is uh, primarily uh, based of local rail fans like myself that's trying to preserve a little piece of what the Montour Road was for the, uh, uh, for the trail goers, basically. And they've started uh, pretty much with a bang uh, here at mile post number 32 uh, by the acquisition Probably one of the few pieces of uh, actual honest to goodness Montour Railroad uh, equipment that's still around. It's the uh, Montour Crane uh, X1. There's actually some signage uh, giving a history behind it. And it was pretty much uh, just fate that's kept this thing uh, surviving uh, after, after the Montour gave up the ghost back in uh, 83, I believe. Uh, it kind of sat dormant until uh, Jerry Jacobson of the Ohio Central Railroad uh, purchased it. Uh, Jerry Jacobson happened to be a, just as much of a rail fan as anybody else. And uh, in fact, one of his hobbies is to buy steam locomotives and restore them. Uh, but uh, as of last year, he actually sold the Ohio Central, his railroad, to, a, to an outfit that's called the Genesee in Wyoming. And pretty much anything that was historical in nature, including uh, Elko diesels and what have you, had to be off the property. And so, uh, once again, uh, Montour X1 was in danger of uh, being scrapped. And uh, Jerry Jacobson and a couple other uh, high essential employees that actually worked for the Montour uh, said, hey, we hate, to, hate for this to happen, and uh, what can you do to help us out here? Let's try to save it. And so they got a trucking uh, outfit to uh, Donate the uh, donate the shipping of it uh, came in pieces, and they were fortunate uh, that the owner of this establishment here, this business, was kind enough to give them a little this little bit of this land here to uh, uh, to use the, to use to store it until they can at least cosmetically restore it. I, I doubt that they'll be able to uh, mechanically restore it, and if they would be able to mechanically restore it, uh, where exactly are you going to uh, where exactly are you going to run it on? Uh, you can see they started, I guess, in a small way by restoring that panel there of, of the cab uh, with the uh, Monitor Railroad uh, diamond-shaped emblem, and also then you can see there also with the uh, with the X1. And for those that are really into railroad history, uh, basically the crane. Would have been used to lift, obviously, heavy things, particularly when it came to uh, re-railing derailments, uh, cars or diesel engines have gone off the track. Would have, uh, this would have been used for that purpose of getting them back on the track. And also for, for heavy maintenance, lifting a lot of rails or ties or what have you to, to keep the railroad in, uh, in good shape. And then just right down here, uh, in addition to that crane, I'll get a back shot of it here. In addition to the crane, uh, there's the back shot. In addition to the crane, they also are going to, uh, along the entire trail, they're going to, uh, the Montour Road and Soil Society is going to place plaques, uh, different locations indicating where the businesses are. Uh, more along the line, basically the reason why the railroad existed. And as you can see, uh, this location right over here uh, would have been the location of Montour Mine Number Four. And in fact, right up here, in fact, make sure I walk up and go a little bit closer to the shop. You can actually see the shaft entrance right there. And uh, the head house there, that's all part of the original. Original Montour Mine Number Four, but again, the Montour Road is historical, historical society, and there's the website address montourrr.com. They're going to, uh, throughout the 30 or so miles that was the Montour, they're going to put these placards up here, 
just to give you an appreciation and understanding of why this road existed. Uh, you know, this wasn't uh, designed back in the early 1900s with the, with the thought that 100 years later it would be a great bike trail. You know, it did actually have a purpose behind it.